Hello and welcome to On The Set, a show brought to you by Sly Media TV, coming to you with celebrities sharing their journeys and inspirations. Today, we are joined by Tabani Dube Gambiza, also known as Manje Njinji. She'll be here sharing her story and how she got to where she got to. We shall take a break. With uh, 2023 beckoning and the election frenzy in the country becoming more stronger each day, Politicians are increasingly becoming visible, making more and more promises. Primary education from grade one to grade seven must be provided completely free. Every village in three years, there will be a ball in your Ananda Sola. But are these promises going to be fulfilled? The electorate is pondering on who to vote for in the council, parliamentary, and even presidential election. We bring you the candidate where we interrogate their plans, their manifestos, their programs to make sure that we give you information to make a choice on who to vote for. The candidate on Sly Media TV every Wednesday from 6 p.m. Welcome back. We are here on the set and as mentioned before, for the benefit of those that had not joined us, we are joined by Tabani Dube Gambiza. Manje nje nje. Ganyare baby. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Wadza, and thank you for having me. It's, today. it's a pleasure. It's really a pleasure. <laughs> so I think just to get into the setting, just tell us your journey. How's, where you started, how you got into the industry. Um, you want me to start from where I grew up? or From the beginning. <laughs> the beginning. Okay. So, um, a girl who grew up in Sengagweru, mm -hmm. I was uh, brought up by my grandmother. She was a powerful woman of prayer, very smart. And from the time that I remember, she, she taught us well. Mm -hmm. she she was a disciplinarian as well there were so many things that would falter and you know she would then go outside we used to have a peach tree outside so she would just say in the Tora Shamu and you know you get your punishment for anything and everything and from that I I was this very talkative girl young girl uh, very good in sports I was an athlete okay. I remember at my school they used to know me mm. as one who'd actually go and and compete in Ascot Stadium, Cobra Stadium then, back then. Mm. So when I finished my grade seven, I got a place at um, Dadai High School in Rishavani. It was a boarding mission school. And still there I was an athlete, of which I think if I'd embraced back then, mm -hmm. my gift, I wouldn't maybe be a journalist, I yeah. could be um, a, a sportswoman. But you know, back then, and with our parents, mm -hmm. sport wasn't like now, where I would actually nurture my child in, in sports, if they are good in sports. Yeah. There are so many talents that are there now with the change of, um, technology and everything else yeah. there are some who are thriving in sports some who are thriving in other things cosmetology and everything so when i finished my form four at Dadai high school i then moved to Marie's brothers in kwekwe that's where i did my a level okay but if i tell you journalism wasn't even my first career choice my first career choice was um, hotel management. I loved cooking. I was very good in food and nutrition. I remember back then um, when I did my, because then we used to do ZJC. All right. Yes, yeah. I remember that. Zimbabwe Junior Certificate mm -hmm. at Dadaya. I remember for my mid-year exams, I got over 90% in FN, food and nutrition. Oh, wow. And I was hoping that was my career choice. But you know, you know, sometimes God has plans for us. We plan and plan, but he has the final say in everything that, sh that you do in life. So I saw myself as someone who'd work in a big hotel, maybe, I don't know, being the chef 
or hotel manager because that is what I want. I had a passion for it. I still love cooking. Mm -hmm. It's one of my hobbies and baking as well. So when I went to, okay, form three, and normally at Dadaya, the norm was you'd get screened. Those that would go into 4B were the ones who would do the practicals, agriculture and FN. And from my practical subjects, I was a better a food and nutrition student than an agriculture student. And then in 4C, they would go, people who were good at fashion and fabrics and building, because at my school there, was, uh, there were four uh, practicals. Mm -hmm. Food and nutrition would go with agriculture. FN would go with building. So I was in the, uh, the other part. And I knew that agriculture, yes, I was good, but not as good as FN. And I, I, Form 3, I was very confident. And I remember back then in the day, to me, uh, it actually taught me that in life, overconfidence doesn't pay. Mm. Sometimes you, you are too confident about something, but God is something, a career path for you, okay. has a destiny and a purpose for you. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that then because, you know, you're, you're just a teenager, you're growing up, and, and most of these things you are not really spiritually, mm -hmm. and your mindset isn't really programmed to maturely think about things. Yeah. So come Form 3, Normally, you get to school and then you gather somewhere. Then uh, the teacher in charge of uh, calling out names for those that were going for additional mathematics class, which was the, the, cream, the cream of the stream, mm -hmm. they would be called. And we knew that those who were good at maths would go into the ed, ed maths class. Yeah. Then if you were so confident like me that I was the first student, I, 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 was, I had the highest marks in FN, you would just tell yourself that it's a walkover. I'm just going to get into the FN class. FN class, yeah. But you know what happened on that sad day? I really cried. I, didn't, I, I actually didn't sleep for, for weeks. Mm. Uh, so the names for the FN class were called out. They were called out. I found myself, I was not called. Agriculture, I didn't even have hope in agriculture. Then from then on, later on, the class, because the, the other class was 4D, where you, it was a commerce class, you do commerce. There were no practicals in that class and, and everything. And that class was called out again. Then my name wasn't there. Then lastly, it was like, oh, okay, Tabani Dube, 4D. Wow. My world was shattered. I was really, 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 really hurt, mm -hmm. I must say. Um, later in life, when I was at Harare Polytechnic, mm -hmm. I met my FN teacher. I could, I could feel that she, she was kind of like feeling guilty. I don't know. I'm sorry, ma'am, if you're watching, <laughs> but I actually thought she, 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 she owed me something because yeah. I, I told myself that I, I liked hotel management and catering. That was my my, my career, but mm -hmm. you know, God had other, other plans. So after my A's, um, I remember I rested for a year. You know how it is after, after your A's. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other, back then, you know what, oh, how we used to do it. You would actually go and apply for a job at Express Stores or Edgar Stores. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. waiting for your results. I remember I worked at, 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 at Edgar's at one time, and I also got a part-time job at uh, Zesa. Okay. Because yeah, my mom lives in Kadoma, that was where I, I got a job. Then I was now thinking of, am I going to go to hotel school? And it was difficult for you to get a place at Bula Polytechnic. That's where that 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 was the only college back then that was offering um, hotel management. Mm -hmm. And looking on the journalism side, it was only Harare Polytechnic and Kosa, because back then there was no university university that was uh, offering a, a degree in journalism. Yeah. So for me to get a place at Ulawai Poly, it was really, really difficult. Uh, because one, I never used to live in Matebele land, and normally I think they used to give pre first preference for people who were in Matebele land. I was more in Mashona land, Western Harare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I then had a brother-in-law who knew some people at, at Poly that then asked if, if there were still places, and they would say, yeah. Yes, they were places. Mm -hmm. That is when I applied for, for a diploma in journalism and media studies. And I didn't know it was a, it was a beginning of a, of a yeah. great career. 
and I, I really love what I do. I, 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 I always say, Lord, you know, sometimes when I'm in my closet, Lord, so you knew. Lord. <laughs> you know, I'm, yeah. I'm going to be a broadcast journalist. I wasn't a good writer back then. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have chosen print to work in uh, newspapers and all. But, okay, uh, at Poly, when you enrolled at Polytechnic as a mass comm student, yeah. uh, we used to call it mass communication. And at uh, Corsa, they used to call it journalism. So my first day at Polytechnic, you know, it was like, wow. Yeah. It was yeah. the department of the college okay. because everyone was like, Mascom and arts, because we used to share kind of like the same buildings with the art students. Mm -hmm. Then most of the uh, the crew were at the business studies, the marketing. Yeah. And all. No, I'm not dissing the marketing <laughs> and business studies um, <laughs> team, but all I'm just saying it was yep. the department. Yeah, yeah. So and to to make uh, matters uh, more beautiful, um, I actually got into resi. Okay. So polytechnic, it was two years for a diploma. And I was really, really excited. Then first term, you'd then choose, do you want to be a broadcast major or a, a print major? Okay. I used to like my, my, radio, broad, uh, my radio production uh, lecturer. He was called Mr. Tanyara Zomzorewa. And also there was Mr. Mpemba, there was Mr. Gonese, Mr. Rewad Mshabasa. Um, most of them, I think, they're in the UK. I normally see Mr. Mchebas on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it was really, 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 really good. It was a great experience. We learned quite a lot. We grew up there. And they actually had a proper, proper studio, TV studio and radio. So come attachments. So people were then asking, so where are you going and, and everything? And, you know, when people look at you, the outside exper experience, the, the outside um Appearing, they always think, ah, no, this one is salad. I think you should either choose Kunana Radio 3, because then it was Radio 3, there was Radio 1, 2, 3, 4, back in the day, um, or TV, there was ZBC. Um, then I, I, I said, I, I just want to be unique, so I'll choose Radio 2. So everyone was like, ah, my friends were like, ah, I'm going to Radio 2. <laughs> but I now want to go to Radio 2. I think it would be good for me to go there. It's, it's unique. Mm -hmm. So I went to, to Radio 2, myself and this guy called Augustine Mukaro. I think she now, he now works for Nyarazo. Mm -hmm. I think he's some peer rep, if I'm not mistaken. And sorry, Augustine, if you're watching, <laughs> if you've left um, uh, Nyarazo group mm -hmm. of companies. So I went there, and I remember my friend Fiona, Fiona Chipunza, she, she chose Radio 4, and Jethro Chimanga chose uh, Radio 4 as well. So it was me and Augustine at Radio 2, then Fiona and, and, and Benny and Jethro there. So I go to Radio 2 there. And, you know, it was so nice. I, I remember my first shift. I didn't take long for me to be on radio. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'm a lovable person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, kid I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so it didn't take a lot of time for me to, to, to have a first shift on Radio 2. And I remember I told all my friends and everyone else that I'll, I'll be on radio. And back then, my boyfriend uh, was really excited and was like, I'm tuned in. And my first song was Sondela. I remember Ringo Malingosi mm -hmm, yeah, back in the day. Song. And my supervisor was um, the great, late Sammy Boy, Sam's Band. Oh, wow. was very strict. Wow. So he was there in the studio, and I'm like, why is he seated behind me? I want to be by myself. I was so, so scared. I actually had goosebumps. I actually had, I actually had a running tummy. I remember at one point, Charlie said, Sekuru, because we used to call him Malume. Sekuru, please can I go to the ladies? It's like, don't you think I had this was rich? Don't I'm not serious. And back then, broadcasting was by the book. Mm -hmm. You get into the studio, you have your compilation shit, you have your production shit, where you are writing your shift. Mm -hmm. And normally then, I used to do sit-ins on um, Elizabeth Chengeta's shifts. Oh, wow. Okay. The great Sis Lizzie. Mm -hmm. Also on Sissy Brenda Moyo shifts. Even Eric Knight's shifts. Because I remember Eric Knight used to do the popular quasi so, um, show, the Friday show. Yeah. It was scary for everybody because there were a lot of commercials, you know, like sport ads. Yes. So it's one sport ad after the other. And most people would actually be scared to be on that shift. But he used to do it very well. He also used to do Kandapa Fuzitinangem Zinda. Selimatun is still there. 
So my sittings normally were the nine to twelve shifts, yeah. the mid morning, mm -hmm. and uh, mid morning with um, Elizabeth Chengeta. She taught me a lot of things. Yeah, my my big sis, I I, I respect you, sis. And um, when when I remember when I was there, she would laugh in a way that would tickle me, and I'd be like. Will I be able to laugh like that? I always used to, t I actually tell her. I remember this past week I was telling her about the same encounter that, you know, please, the way you used to laugh, you know, Muripa Radio, you know, you'd be like, <laughs> like, Shine, Shine am I going to, to laugh like that? And now with the experience in broadcasting, I can laugh the way I want. I can laugh the way that can entice listeners. I can laugh the way that I can go baruka, you know, and go, yeah. ha, 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 you know, if anything is funny and, and all that. But um, I learned quite a lot. I, I, I actually worked with the great, the great Temba mm -hmm. Mukanda, Gift Msipa, Tilda Moyo, Brenda Moyo, Eric Knight. There was Malakin Komo, Msavinga Nenyasha. Mm -hmm. And our manager back then was Timothy Makoni. And um, there were a lot of people, the Pina Mwemba, the late. And on the radio, four sides, there were Anna Kings, Lisbanda, and, and all that. So I learned broadcasting from the grads. Yeah. Sammy Boy, Simon Pashoma, yeah. Isekuru Gudo. There were a lot of people. Even Kane Chikosha was there, mm -hmm. was there back then. Anna Lawrence Messi, Sylvester Tafumane, he was there. You know, he was the technical operator. And he used to do Zalana Gwenyambira. Yeah. You know, I remember. And you know, I learned from the I learned from the greats, you know, and I'm really grateful for that. Mm. And that broadcasting, that deep broad, radio broad, broadcasting, is still deep rooted in me, mm. even the way I do things. And I always want to to do my stuff by the by the book. By the book, I really want. I always want to be professional with the way I do my stuff, even on radio. I still sign the. I still when I'm on radio, I still sign the continuity. I still sign the spot log. I'll explain. Spot log is the is the paper that we get with the twenty four hour programming of a particular day. Okay. From okay. midnight to midnight. Uh -huh. And it will stipulate the programs that are coming and the sport arts that are coming at a particular time. All so right. whenever you 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 if it's if it's Rudia Kamwe, you sign against Rudia Kamwe, Chain Kundla. Mm -hmm. Ten zero five and you sign. If it's quasi, so 12 o'clock, 12, 5 past 12, you sign against it. If there are sport ads, Nestam, I know, I know Nestam because Perfect is, is, a, is, a, is, is, is the one behind the voice, the, the Nestam, I think it's three minutes uh, <laughs> on, 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 on Radio Zim, yeah. uh, you sign against that. So that is actually your passport for everyone to see and know that you were in the studio at all right particular time. and you you're saying you still sign it yeah are there other people that don't sign no it? i'm saying i still <laughs> sign it as uh -huh. me no everyone has to sign mm -hmm. if you don't sign you're questioned and also marketing marketing also uh, need to know if those sport ads were played were so played. you have to sign it's compulsory for you to sign it all right yeah and how was it for your first time your first time on radio when you, you mentioned that you were very anxious you had a running tummy and then now you're done and you're back home and your friends are like we heard everyone you everyone was calling me <laughs> wow it was so i felt like this celebrity you know yeah. because all your friends are calling you hey we heard you on radio was that you and when they look at you they are like admiring you from head to toe and i'm like wow who oh, so is this you? me so you now work on radio i've always been a humble person mm. to be honest I, I people that really know me deep down they know i've always been humble you know humble yourself the lord will lift you up um i i know i know i've made a name for myself i'm actually not flaunting i'm not bragging but mm -hmm. i have why it's through hard work it's just like you now you're doing these interviews mm -hmm. you work hard you need to improve yes this interview with the next one that's coming just look at yourself and watch watch it watch after after this show you watch you go back and rewatch and see where did I go wrong? Did yeah. I ask Tabani, well, mm -hmm. was I composed or was I scary? Did she intimidate me? Or if I'm, if I'm going to get another uh, celebrity, um, I always think we are public figures. We yeah. are these celebrities. We are public figures, but you know, people would then want, us to, uh, want to call us celebrities. 
where do I need to improve? It's always mm -hmm. good to, to re-listen, to, to re-watch your production so, so that you know where you are faltering. And it's always good to prepare. Uh -huh. for, 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 a, for a production. It's always good to, to prepare for a shift. I, I prepare for my shifts, and normally we send our production plans to our bosses uh, uh, 24 hours before because they want to know, and it's actually the yardstick for, you know, sometimes on radio you can say stuff that, that, that are not um, in tandem with your editorial policy. Yeah. It, it, they have, they will go back to the production plan and see, what you spoke about, is it written is it there? there? Yeah, so yeah. that you know if you're in trouble or not. Uh -oh. If it is written, then they'll speak on behalf of you. If it's not, then you're in trouble. Uh -huh. So you need to plan for your production. You need to plan. Even the songs that you're going to, to play, have time to listen to them. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that you relate with to them. Yeah, you relate, you, you relate with them. And at the same time, you have something to, to, to talk about. Gone yeah. are the days when you used to, to just play music on radio. Ngota, Sistim Tajida. This place is boring. Now you have to move with the, with the trend. There's a lot happening in social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, These guys will overtake you, regardless of them having a qualification in journalism or not. There's great talent out there. And I think um, it's like what you're saying. It doesn't just apply to the industry. These are takeaways for people, even in life itself. Yes. When you're doing a certain, yeah, when you're in your field, just go through what you've done, just prepare. And I, I hope that everyone is listening, that you need to prepare, you need to look and reflect back to what she did. I think our viewers should actually take a note yeah. and just write it down and yes. remember that you can always improve your art. Welcome back. We are here with Tabani Gambiza Manjinjinji. Gandare my baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she was sharing with us her journey into the radio industry, how it just took a turn mm. from wanting to do hospitality to catering mm. to other people. Mm. And now you're here blessing us with your voice. <laughs> Amazing voice. <laughs> However, now we're going to turn it into, we want to talk about the industry itself. Okay. Um, because we have upcoming mm -hmm. and we have other people who are interested in getting into the industry. And I think one thing I would like to know, what was your greatest challenge when you got into the industry and you're just there like, someone should have told me about this. They should have warned me about this. Okay. The time I joined, I don't, mm. I can't say I, I, I had a challenge. Uh -huh. uh, maybe because of the station that I have, oh, I've worked for uh -huh. since Ameno. Um, okay. We have adorable fans. I don't want to lie to you. We, we have the most loyal fans. Mm -hmm. And if you are not careful, no kuram soro, you become big headed. Mm -hmm. Of which, when you become big headed now, I'll still go back to that issue. You become big headed in the journalism industry. It will then cloud the way you are going to, um, present even your work because wakuram soro there's everyone everywhere mm -hmm. who's calling my jinji gandarama baby my jinji gandarama baby it in a way we should be wary of that mm -hmm. you you are popular you're famous just keep your cool keep your cool uh the reason why i was talking about you re-watching and re-listening to mm -hmm. your programs and improving your program the one that you had yesterday at, and the one that you have today has mm -hmm. to be, there has to be an improvement even the listeners should actually tell that, ah, yeah, yesterday she was good, but today is the best. You understand mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Make the most of that. So what I've realized over the years is I actually didn't have a challenge. I don't want to lie. A challenge that I can actually hold water. Mm -hmm. That can actually hold water and say, no, Tabani, you had a challenge about um, intimidation mm -hmm. or sexual assault or sexual harassment. Yeah. I would lie. But what I've realized is over the years, we have had uh, people who become famous and for, for God to, to really take them to where they are supposed to be, he then withdraws because of pride. I've seen too many proud people who are very talented, not getting to the best of their capabilities. I normally like to say, I, I don't want to say the sky's the limit. I always want to say uh, the sky is not even the limit mm -hmm. when it comes to talent and 
especially in this industry because God can actually do wonders. I'm a, a strong believer of Christ. I love yeah. the Lord. And every morning when I wake up, I actually say, Lord, I'm factoring you, you in into everything that I'm going to, even when I'm going into the studio, in, when I'm in my office preparing to get into a transmission, I always say, Lord, we are taking the lead. Um, it helps you. It whips you in line mm -hmm. in terms of the way you're going to address even the listeners. Because sometimes when you get big-headed, you can get to a point where you not have Because and our industry, no I don't want to lie. There will always be people who will love you. And there will always be people who don't like you. Yeah, I remember I used to have one fan around 2016, 2018, who actually used to write even for, for Facebook page, Young Green I have a Facebook page, Young Green I actually also have a, um, a page here. I'm holding a blue microphone on my mm -hmm. I have another one called Tab Patient. That's my private one. Okay. I told you about Taban and Fariri, you know. But I always used to say, you know what? I love you so much. I don't know if he was joking, but there are other people who don't like you because of who you are. Who you are, yeah. So, I think industry yedu doesn't need you to have feelings. Mm -hmm. A lot kukecha my feeling. You know, people always say usake <laughs> and, and everything, <laughs> both for the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself, and only yourself. When God uplifts you to that level. Just be humble. Mm -hmm. Keep your cool. And you then realize that because of pride, you don't get to where God wants you to be. You, you are just now a mediocre type of a broadcast journalist. You are, you are not f going, yeah, you are, people, other people will say, wow, but other people who can observe, like me, can, I, I can say, you know what, uh, what's any potential? But I don't know where she's missing the point. Yeah. It's because we are letting the things around us cloud our work yeah okay. so for you if i broadcast you know there are times that i sit at home and say to myself how can i actually improve my program tomorrow i just want to i just want it to be well like today i was on radio from 9 to 12. i actually felt it that no i'm not saying i was good but I loved my show today. Mm -hmm. I really loved my show. They said there are days, but there are few that I say, yeah, I went on radio, but, but no, yeah. I didn't really, yeah. really like it. Of course, who knows when I boast from your listeners will say, ah, my ginger, ginger, ginger. but I love to come out of the studio feeling so much, feeling so good about my show and telling myself I got so much satisfaction. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. I love to perfect my things, even at home, even when I'm cooking. Even when I'm doing things, I I I get I get so much satisfaction in that. Not that I'm competing with anyone, mm -hmm. but I just get satisfaction in flourishing, in, in in being the best. You know, even the way I dress. If I'm going for a function, I actually want to to dress good. You know, to 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 have my makeup a, a dress good. If it's a it's a ball type of a, fun, a function, red carpet, I want to dress good. So I want to to challenge upcoming. And those that are already in there mm -hmm. that are saying, I want to be maybe like Manjinjinji, anyone is someone that inspires them. I, look up to you. I, I, I want to tell you that you have satisfaction in you. Don't look at the next person. Be the best version of you. Don't be what you were yesterday. Be the best today. Don't think about tomorrow because tomorrow is a mystery. You don't know what it will is. happen tomorrow. But just be the best of who you are. There are so many challenges now that are coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes um, there are people who take advantage, gender-based violence, and gender-based violence is also part of Jana intimidation, Tanga Wandida for me to get this post. Yeah. We hear of all those things. But as a woman, stand firm. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of being a woman. Mm -hmm. But most of all, put God first in everything. Yeah. Put God first. Yeah, he's the provider of everything, Jehovah Jireh. He gives everything and it takes so if you put god face lord i need this job i'm praying and fasting for this job i need this post i'm praying and fasting for this i don't think his ears are deaf to to listen mm -hmm. you always listen so sometimes these challenges that we face probably in the newsrooms or because normally 
like in, at Radio Zimbabwe, if people are not in their respective offices, yeah. we are in the library. You know, we have a big library. It's a record, it's not a recording library. It's just a library where there's music, mm -hmm. there are computers, you can compile your programs, you can listen to music, you can chit chat and, and, and fellowship and network with the other producer presenters there. And most people would really want to be there because there's news, gossip and, and everything. Maybe there's intimidation there. Be yourself. And there are other issues that are coming up where people are giving are given bribes and kickbacks and everything. It happens. But if you are doing it, don't let it be known. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not condoning it, but I'm just saying there are things that are happening there. It's happening. It's happening. But you'd find now we were we manch. How do you treat that person? We are seeing these these pictures that are I mean screenshots, screenshots that yeah. are being sent with Am Shamarade you I can do and most of these people to get to we actually know that we are you know. Let your stuff be private. Yeah. Well, you need to be you know Everywhere about open it. about everything. Mm. Even as a journalist, let your stuff be private. Yes, so even about your programs, let it be private. Because sometimes, because you know, people are now scared to even post a topic here again out of Mangwari. You know, so they have to be with social media, we have to treat it by a BY and and everything, you know. Yeah. So it's those are some of the things that are happening. Okay. Yeah. So from what you're telling me, I've gathered the two main things that you're pushing for. God first. The second is improvement. Yes. You you are hammering in yes. on the issue of especially improvement. To lady especially to I, I am yeah. I'm, I'm I'm passionate about women and girl child empowerment. Yeah. Actually uh, established a foundation of mine called Tabani Patient Bandage Foundation. Mm -hmm. Um it's there on Facebook as well. Uh, Facebook um forward slash um, Facebook uh, forward slash no I'm not speaking as if I'm an, uh, I'm an, I'm an amateur sorry about that <laughs> uh, Facebook uh, forward slash uh, TPMN foundation um, especially female journalists guys guy. yeah you know sometimes the chicken in pizza in KFC it's something that you can buy for yourself. Yes, you don't need that. You don't need a man to buy you that for you to, to give them what they want. Be proud of yourself. Hold your head up high. Mm -hmm. Work hard. The moment you work hard, you'll be recognized. You know, our in the good thing about our industry is recognition is there. Left, right, and center. Even clients. Mm -hmm. Even chicken in they will follow you. <laughs> Yeah, they would want to advertise with you. Yes, I understand. If you're a brand, they would want to advertise mm. with you. Tiriko Tore Ramabasa Nivan were doing the social media and everything. I'm not saying it's bad, but mm -hmm. we we have the platform to, 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 to showcase our capabilities. We have yeah. the platforms to, to shine. So for me, put God first and improve your work. Mm -hmm. And I'm learn from the best. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes the other challenge that we have, so sorry before you mm -hmm. ask me the next question, is we compete amongst ourselves as ladies. We are not in competition. We are not, yeah. we are not united. united. Normally we are competing. Instead of you listening, there is one word sometimes that can actually change you That's for true. the rest of your life. Yeah, I, I actually wanted to ask you about that, the social media aspect mm. of um, media itself. Um, you create content, like you were saying, you prepare in your mm. office before you go. And you were saying that you have loyal fans that listen to, 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 your, to your playlists yes. and just listen, yeah. they want to listen to yes. you. And combining the two, because they're all, it's all a part of media combining radio and social media when it comes to creation of content we all know people want a loyal baseline yeah. fan base mm. what do you think makes your fans loyal is it the content is it that they get a vision of you that they enjoy what do you think creates a loyal baseline it's both the content mm -hmm. and the presenter as mm -hmm. well how you present your programs and how you relate with them. Mm -hmm. Most of us, because of this publicity and popularity, we forget that these, these listeners make us. They can make, a, they can make you and break, break you. you yeah. So you embrace them. 
you become a people person. You choose the, 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 the career, but you don't know that you are now a people person. You have to relate with everyone, even those that are at grassroots level. Those, you need to just embrace them and love them. Mm -hmm. Plot is lost when people start saying, ah, you know, it's a strategy. The pump surrender it happens. Yeah. It really happens. Kutarisira, mm my friends, -hmm. any pass. If papa you lose the plot, you need to be a friendly person. You need to humble yourself. You need to 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 improve on your content. This there's so many things to talk about. Our page, Google is there. Yeah. Mister Google is there. There's so many things that you can talk about in this life. Mm -hmm. So many things. But what you need to do is to pick a topic research about it when you go on radio you know what you're talking about because when information is is on your fingertips people can tell yeah. if you are shallow people can tell mm -hmm. if you if you didn't prepare your program people can people actually tell. talk it's no 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 she didn't prepare your program. yes the 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 she has manjenje nje eh manjenje nje ari kutota kuti show ina kids but hana ku prepare your program yake yeah. so it's all about you and improving yourself and embracing your fans and embracing those that are, are close to you who are teaching you do you know when we did radio production there was what was called bull session criti uh, 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 constructive criticism mm -hmm. we used to call it bull session where as a person you need to take criticism from other people yeah don't be full of I know. I know sometimes it becomes kukecha my feelings. It becomes um mm -hmm. But there are people who will tell you the truth and say, No, 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 no. Show ya kwe dai wa ita so wait so wait so. You know. I remember the other day I had an interview with someone. Um it was a great interview. I actually learned a lot from that interview. Mm. My boss then met me outside and, 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 and she's like, no, I, I want to talk to you. I really liked your program. But there are certain things that don't go to I said, cool, sons, I, won't you get offended? Said, no, 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 no. Bull session. Mm -hmm. Constructive criticism is good. And you know, when she told me, I actually learned, I was like, ah, eh, nah. exactly. but why was I doing that? But you know, we have uh, the, the, the life that we're living in right now, people don't want to be told. Mm -hmm. They think they know everything. Could we say that is also attributing to why certain careers you're saying that like upcoming artists upcoming presenters Not upcoming it. anything really they're getting kind of lost in how do i express it the journey is just starting just like mine mm. upcoming you're mm. trying to get there but kakuti musanduzire yeah. And because you have confidence you are very confident <laughs> thank you yeah Nekutu uh, ane confidence and show i yabuda. Tombo ita 30,000 views. I pop up. Wakutu ita 30,000. You know, this is me. Please view it. Me 30,000. I want to have that to be happy. Wa ita 30,000 views. Then, watokura. Ka profession agaga. Ka mita utudade. Uka uka sangwarira. You know. Watokura msoro. Saka. Boss wako, waka zengi wako kuza utu wazapa tipepe, haucha, unotogu na utomotora. Watu itipoto ya ume munu, utomu uti matora ndundu chikara from Radio Zimbabwe, au ya panapa, you're now talking to him. Wa, watu wa itra attitude. Do you know what will happen? Your show will not even get 30,000 like it did because mm. audi kuhuzwa. You know, maybe something that he was going to tell you was going to help you improve. Mm -hmm. From 30,000, maybe you, you get to 45,000. And it's your work that will sell you. Mm -hmm. It's not you. People yeah. love your work. Then they like you. Why? Because of the good work that you're what? That you're, that you're doing. doing. And what words do you have for young and upcoming um, presenters, young people that okay. just want to get into the industry? Okay. People that would want to get into the industry. Please don't get into the industry um, because Ningi is in journalism and Dawana Wadza, she's now popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that I should do tier zero. We want passionate presenters, mm -hmm. people that have journalism at heart. At heart yeah. A lot of media ethics are being are being broken. To be honest, if you if you if you if you check Vakaita media ethics, mm -hmm. 
Jakawanda, Shuruko Kanganis, and journalism. It's now my shortcuts and everything. So I would really want people who are passionate about the profession to join the profession. I'm not saying those that are not shouldn't join, but I'm just saying it, it's my wish. Mm -hmm. It's my prayer every day that, Lord, can we have more passionate, young, upcoming journalists joining the profession so that we take it even further and take it far? Mm -hmm. We have more uh, production houses like Sly Media TV. We have more big broadcasting corporations like ZBC. We have other players coming in that are able to, to give us, um, uh, to give more young people uh, employment mm -hmm. you know it's something that i'm yearning for and something that i really want then the other thing please go to school yeah mm -hmm. you get a job here you don't want to learn mm -hmm. yeah in any i i did mascom a diploma yeah. in mass communication at mm -hmm. poly because there was no degree nast then advertised for a degree in journalism and and, and media studies mm -hmm. i enrolled for that i did that then for my masters i said no 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 no. i don't want to be like in general uh, to do gen a, a, a masters in journalism i then decided to divert to to um development studies so i did a master's in development studies. Oh, wow. i've done other courses like mm -hmm. community leadership program advanced lions leadership uh, institute i'm also a lion by the way oh, wow uh, okay. we do philanthropic i'm a philanthropist I, I, I like doing that. I'm a God-fearing person. I, I, I think my pastor, if he's watching, you'd be really disappointed that you didn't say, you're a God-fearing woman. I'm a God-fearing woman, yes. Apostle. And I'm also uh, someone who really loves the Lord. And I'm seeing myself, besides being a, a broadcast journalist, I'm seeing myself being a, a, a pastor. I mm -hmm. really want to be ordained to be a pastor. Okay. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying reading the word. And so please go to school. Mm -hmm. The diploma is not the end of the world. Have a degree. Mm -hmm. Have a master's. I haven't done a PhD because of, I, I was just saying to myself, do I, I, am I ready now? I was ready, I think, two or three years ago to start a PhD, mm -hmm. but I haven't started. But I would also want to do a PhD. Mm -hmm. And, and if I could be a professor, it would be good. Be great, you know? yes. So go to school. I, go and learn about journalism. Yes, you can hold the microphone. Mm. You can be the best MC at a wedding, at a corporate function. But just, just base it with education. Know what media ethic, ethics are. Know mm. what media law is. Know what public relations is. When you, when you, when you intertwine public relations and journalism, what do you get? Know that. Know everything. Know about um, media research. What do we mean about media research? What do we mean about panning a microphone? What um, I mean, a camera? What do you mean about uh, this, about camera and everything? Okay, I did uh, the practical of cameras <laughs> way back, but I still remember. Oh, know about filming, everything that you need to know. Base it with education. Yeah. It, will, it will give you mileage. Even when you, when you think that I'm going to have a... I, I always feel I'm going to have a... a, a a, a radio station of my own. Mm -hmm. It's in the it's something that's that's in my mind. I've put a bit on paper, but I'm going to have a, a radio station of of my own. Codes. I, okay, I won't say, Don't the, say name. the name. <laughs> and I also from then I can even have my own TV station. Yeah. So it's something that I also want. To, so be someone who has aspirations and an ambition mm -hmm. to 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 go far. Mm -hmm. Be an international. A production house, an international broadcasting uh, 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 station, anything that you want, but base everything with education. Education is key. And I'll change your way. Yeah. And even my arguments, Mumba, yeah. you know, I'm not going to tell you, huh? What are you saying? It's very constructive. And constructive. You need to be that type of a woman and a strong woman. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 for the first time, mm -hmm. I'll talk about this. I, I have to talk about this. Okay. For the first time at church, I was chosen to be an MC. Okay. Before, like, before crossover. All right. 31st yes. uh, December 2021 to, to, one to, to 1 January this year. 
Hey, I was so humbled. I I never been on such a platform. I said it. I've I've been an MC for years, but I've never been on such a platform. But that day, I said, Lord, I just want to keep my cool, and and just be this very mature presenter who's presenting for the Lord. And and when I was watching, because I always play back. Mm -hmm. When I when I was I was rewatching the, the the that Facebook live, I was like, Lo yeah, this was I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I, I, I obviously I need to improve on, on other mm -hmm. things, memorize more verses. Yeah. Not that I don't know much, but <laughs> memorize know the Bible more, yeah. so that at least I have depth. So it's more about depth in everything that you do, mm -hmm. more than anything. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. That is yeah. That is a lot of information. <laughs> if you can't even process it, then I, yeesh, I don't know. You're missing out. Yeah. Because I believe that in most of um, the interviews that we have here, it's not just things that you apply in an industry. Yeah. It's not about media. It goes beyond that. It looks into what you can apply in your own life as yes. an individual. Yes. So you don't have to be from a media house or wanting to join a media house. Even in construction, you, you can still look back and yes, see, and see where, where uh, you can fix it. Is this foundation good? Yes. Is this thing good? Even in deco, mm -hmm. did I set up well? I remember, was it yesterday? I had, I had a recording at church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because our church has a TV channel. I also had a recording at church, and uh, we're interviewing this lady who's doing deco. And you look at, and she was actually teaching me how to, to, to place the Orana. Hospitality. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll have my own cafe. Yes. You know. So even her, she should look at the way she's, she's setting up. Mm. Is, is this good? It, how do I improve from this setup to that? Even those that are doing the makeup, and they're making lots of money. Yes, Cause indeed. Because for, for professional makeup, I think it's 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. They're making a lot of money. Did I do my ginger well? How do I improve if, if Ningi comes, mm -hmm. you know, if they want their makeup done? How, so it's not about journalism only. It's also the same thing as the school that you went to. I always used to say, um, in my family, I think I'm the only one who went, like on my maternal side, I'm the only one who went to group B schools. Okay. Every other sibling and cousin of mine, they went to group A schools. Wow. So I'm the only one. Uh -huh. And it's not even about you going to a group B school mm -hmm. for you to speak the way I'm speaking. It's about determination and, mm -hmm. and, and fighting and getting satisfaction in what you're doing. Um, no, the sky, is in, is, the sky is not even the limit. I see myself in a very big auditorium addressing all races mm -hmm. in this world. I have Indians, I have colors, I have blacks, I have Asians, I have... Um, uh, Caucasians, yeah. yes. <laughs> You know them. everything. Yes. I see myself one day standing in front of this auditorium, and I'm addressing them, and they were they they are they are saying, "Wow, Manjenjenje is a powerful woman." You know yes. why? Because I'm determined. This is what I like. Mm -hmm. And going to you know, I always want to talk about relationships. Mm -hmm. I love the one you're with. You know, because sometimes relationships actually. Um, are a hindrance in our work life. Do you know? That's true. If you're stressed, you come here, you have a heartbreak. You don't perform the way you're performing right now. Hi. What if I have one? <laughs> you see? So also manage your relationships well. Yeah. If you're not married to the person and they're not doing you good, leave them. <laughs> Find someone else. Yeah. And sometimes uh, when it comes to men, they, they take advantage of you all over them. You're, you're always chasing them, you mm -hmm. know, every day. Hi, sweetie. Uh, after one hour, hello, love. And they don't even say morning because they're saying she's, she's always saying to me, she's the one who's communicating and she's chasing me. So you have pride, girl. Mm -hmm. You know, know who you are. Yes. I'm not teaching you to be liberal feminist, yes. but all I'm just saying, I mean, a radical feminist, mm -hmm. all I'm just saying is just be liberal in everything that you do. Yeah. Say no to things that are not good for you, are not good for your health, are not good for your career. Yeah. Because sometimes the, the, the way people uh, work, sometimes it fluctuates. Mm -hmm. you, tomorrow you are there, uh, the, the following day you are up, down there. Why? If you, if you ask me, most of these uh, ladies, it's because of relationship issues that they have. Mm -hmm. Some are being abused psychologically, some are being abused emotionally, yeah. physically, and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be abused. 
And uh, um, with all this knowledge that you have and all the advice that you've been giving to, to young people and young ladies specifically, yes. um, I'm sure there are people who are just there like, we want you to be our Sicilizi. You had a Sicilizi who was mm -hmm. working you through yeah, um, yeah. radio and teaching you. Yeah. Yes. And did. they want you as a mentor. Do you do that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I always have this dream where I'm going to build um, or construct a prayer garden. Mm -hmm. I love prayer. Um, where I'm just going to have this. I just don't want to, to, to talk about it much. Someone might steal my idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, I, I, I want to have this prayer garden where I'll have a place where I'll mentor mentor young women even older women if they want to be mentored because mm -hmm. uh, maybe they are wiser uh where i would mentor young women about everything and anything career wise or career guidance spirituality marital issues mm -hmm. social issues there are so many things that are, are affecting a lot of women yeah, that's true. you know so it's in the pipeline very soon i think i'll set it up then but people are free i have other young women who come to me and um, they have their issues that they want us to pray about or they want advice on anything and um knowing me i'm not in that regard i'm not a chatterbox in terms of uh kissing and telling you know how to kiss and tell mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. come and tell me and i tell the next person i'm not like that so it's something that i'm i'm, I'm working on really all yeah. right if you're open to that how would they get in touch with you um they can come to radio zim <laughs> <laughs> they can get in touch with me on 0772 mm -hmm. 356 I'll repeat it. Mm -hmm. 0772 All right. Yeah, they are welcome to come. Yeah, I yeah. think for the ladies and even gents who want to be wiser. And marriage counseling <laughs> I do as well. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Um, you can get in touch with Manje Njenje on the number that she stated. She will say it again and then we'll put it on the screen. But for now, we will take a break. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. We are here with Manje Nje Nje. Gandarima, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over that. Gandarima, <laughs> And you know, my fans really like me when I say Gandarima. And to, a, to an extent that they actually send messages and say, yes, Ganda. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. <laughs> That's amazing. That's odd. It's just this. Yeah. It's your pride yes. in, in everything. Yes. So I think now we're going to like go back into, you mentioned your foundation. Yes. Can you please tell us more about it? Okay. Um, I established a foundation in December 2016. Okay. It's called Tabani Patients Manjenji Foundation. And to be honest, um, it was prophetic. Mm -hmm. There is a pastor who used to come to Radio Zimbabwe in 2018, thereabout. And he just says to me, sister, then I'm like, ah, you know, I present for him, Baba Nukadzi. I, I used to pre present for him, Baba Nukadzi. Mm -hmm. Then at Radio Zim, there's Nguwa Eva Nukadzi. Mm -hmm. Baba Nukadzi is still there. Mm -hmm. Then he's like, no, 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 no. I don't mean Zhe, Izho, Zhe, Izho. Ndrukure Eva kut tanga i Chirongwa. Then I'm like, ah, in Then she's like, I don't know, go and pray about it. So this one time while I was seated, it's, that thought really crossed my mind. Back then I didn't have that much wisdom, eh? Because I could have thought that God was talking to me. But I didn't think, it, think that way. I was like, ah, you know. Yeah. Then he says to me, then the following uh, time when he came, I think the following week, he was like, and then I'm like, ah, I need to So there's a day when I was seated at one, and I'm like, ah, how do I improve my program? Then I'm like, ah. so that thought then crossed my mind. Mm. Like, this guy was saying, no cards. So what should I do? Mm -hmm. So I then say to myself, ah, let me, let me, let me tackle social issues that affect women. Mm. Then I'm thinking, what are social issues? Took my note, 
uh, not paid. And I started writing social issues, extra marital affair, extended family, you know, Fuma mm -hmm. you know, inheritance. And so these, these ideas started coming, coming, coming. So I, the least of things that I want. So then my next show, I just said to my um, co-presenter, who then was Patricia Jacob PJ, okay. like, ah, sis, because she's older than me, sis, Ngati Rakat. Hey, the response was overwhelming. Our first show, it was really, really overwhelming. So that is when I then, you know, so with prayer as well and guidance from my pastor then, he says to me, Tangai Foundation mm -hmm. go, go home and write a paper. And I'm like, what is he saying now about writing a paper? So I got home and then started reading books on patriarchy and um, things to do with access to lands and lawns, things to do with sexual reproductive health, things to do with... Uh, of eradication of poverty amongst the women, mm -hmm. recognition in local governance, you know, those yeah. type of things. So I started reading and reading. Then ideas started coming and I started writing my what? My paper. Mm -hmm. My paper. Up until I actually had a company profile. Wow. Then, for me to then start doing projects, it was really an uphill task. I had a mentor of mine. People would be really shocked. Justin Mashlatla. The one you used to read the news. Mm -hmm. He used to mentor me, do you know? He said, ah, Ambuya, you have to be seen to be doing something. He calls me Ambuya. And I'm like, Mukwasha, no, 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 find something to do. So that is when I then realized that, ah, but I have a fan base. Yeah. Why can't I use my fans? Mm -hmm. So I just picked the phone, calling my fans. My sister, Murukupi, Murukwa Mrewa, Ndruda Kuyao, Ndunga Nidrei Madzmai, Murukupi, Murukwa Wow. You know? Mm -hmm. Then, for starters, I, I was doing personal hygiene workshops. Just go there, buy my bread, or if I have enough money, I, I used to use my own resources, mm -hmm. buy some bread and tea bags and everything. Then we just go there, sit down, prepare our tea, and sit down. Then I start talking about personal hygiene. How do you bath as a woman? Mm -hmm. How do you clean your ears? Mm -hmm. How do you brush your teeth? How do you shave? How do you do clean even your toes because some men i used to have a friend back in uni who used to say if i look at at, at, at a girl's toes if they are to to cute you know the cuticles yeah yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so, you know i all those things were coming to mind and i'm like how do i teach these ladies to mm. bath how do i teach them to dress up how do i teach them to even wash underwear mm. so i started like that yeah. and over the years um, what I lacked was funding. Mm -hmm. And I thank God last year, I, I, I organized a function for a, uh, a, an organization called Vascana Project. They were launching their Menstrupedia comic book for, for the young girls in, in junior school. Okay. So I organized the founders in, the, in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. United States. I have a friend of mine that I went to, to college with, uh, Clara Matonuze. Um, she lives in Cincinnati, so she's the one who reached out and said, why don't you hook up with the other guy that we went to college with, Colin, and please organize this function. So we organized the, the launch, and one of the guest speakers there was Sonia Jackson Miles. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. the, the founder of the Sister Court mm -hmm. Foundation in, in, in America. So she, 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 she asked him and said, so who's that lady? Who, she did very well. I would like her to be my ambassador. So she then named me as Zimbabwe chapter ambassador. And so far we have done um, tea party for 50, 50, 50 beneficiaries, 25 women and 25 girls. They were eligible for um, 500 USD grant. Okay. But out of the 25 women, only eight applied. Out of the five, 25 girls, only one applied. So the one actually got a, a 500 USD grant for for a scholarship, oh, wow. for fees. But then she opted to get something bought for her. So we, we then released the funds. Then for the eight ladies who, who, who applied, we interviewed six. I was part of the panel, the, lady, the, the founder for Vascana Project and the sister called founder. So the three of us were on the panel for the interviews for the business startup grants. Mm -hmm. So six of the ladies got their 500 USD. 
and they're actually doing that. There's doing um, poultry keeping, that there's doing um, as a recreational park. The other is doing cake, cake making. The other is doing um, she had, uh, poultry again. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we, we handed over the grants in December. And it's there on my page, mm -hmm. if you go down the page. So um, the sky is not even the limit for me on that end. I uh, recently joined a consortium. Okay. And on the 29th, Consortium of Zimbabwe Charities. Mm -hmm. And on the 29th, we're actually having a symposium okay. where we are inviting these um, upcoming mushrooming uh, small NGOs so that we come together. And for us to have a consortium, it's for us to be able to then get funding to, to then reach out, to, reach the out to, to the different communities because we are different organizations yeah. with different visions. Some are into women and girl child, some are into education, some mm. are into this and that. So on the 29th, we'll be in Avondale. Okay. And we are meeting for a symposium. Uh, the founder has already come. She lives in, uh, she's, a, she's a Zimbabwean who's living in the, in the UK. She's already jetted into the country because they are also launching their, their own uh, foundation, um, the cancer, mm -hmm. uh, cancer foundation. It's called Tim Caro Foundation, and they are launching it on the 23rd, I think next weekend. Mm -hmm. So my month is, is action-packed. So that is what I'm doing. Just recently, during the weekend, we went to Tungisa. We had a personal hygiene, personal and menstrual hygiene mm -hmm. workshop with mm -hmm. 75 girls. We donated uh, pads in partnership with Women of Prayer and Vanave Do Trust and Vascana Project. They actually sent us the yeah. Menstrupedia comic books. So this, this is what I'm doing. I'm not tiring. I'm, I'm still looking for donations so that at least we get funding and, and we reach out to as many women and girls in this country. That is amazing. Yeah. Like, and funny enough, I picked up from what you were saying that she was able to do hotel management, yeah, well, making, bringing tea to the ladies and catering. Yes. Cert certain times we don't pick up on it, but these little things yes, are, still, true. are still in true. how you do your work. And, and it's amazing. It's really amazing to hear. And I'm looking into a feeding program. There's an organization that I'm actually working with. We're mm -hmm. organizing. Um, we actually seeking for funding for that mm -hmm. feeding program where we are just going to go into the communities and identify orphans yeah. and other uh, young uh, uh, people who are in need of, of food so that at least we donate as well. Um, wow. And for me, on the personal hygiene side, it's more to do with the WASH program. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. sanitation yeah. and health. Uh, we want clean young women. Yes. Very clean wa yes. young women in, in, in our societies. Uh, if you are clean, you become very confident yeah, that's in, true. in everything that you do. So yeah. those are some of the things that I'm doing. But I will not forget church. I also mm -hmm. serve in church, yes. in the media team mm -hmm. at my church. Yeah, I go to Tabernacle of Grace Church and I serve in the, in the media team. Um, I'm actually one of the anchor heads there. All right. Yeah. That's, it's really amazing to hear this work. And yes. thank you for gracing us and for giving us this knowledge. I have benefited a lot and I hope our viewers have also benefited a lot from Majenjenje. Gandhari, my baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming and thank you, our viewers, for watching and being with us here to get this guidance. Improve, improve, improve. Amen. And put God first. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.